So I guess this is goodbye. I suppose so. It's been an experience, Theron. Be well to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, you too, Lana. Try not to get into too much trouble, all right? That looks like you're finally getting rid of me. How's it feel? I have to admit I'm going to miss you, Theron. Same here. Guess if we ever meet again, it won't be friendly. Well, seems weird to wish you good luck, so, uh, give my regards to the Dark Council. All things considered, we accomplished a lot working together. We did, didn't we? Yeah. Well. Just leave. You... <laughs> I don't know why I expected you to be civil. Say hey to the Dark Council for me next time you have one of your little meetings. And then there were two. And then there were two. It's a wonder we're even here, considering all we've had to endure. When I was advisor to Darth Arcus, I would never have imagined any of this. Your service to the Empire won't be overlooked. No, it won't. It hasn't. Darth Ma has taken notice of my accomplishment. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were feeling a bit sentimental. It's true, you've caught me. I do tend to get wistful when change is afoot. Darth Ma. That was before you met me. Turns out we make a good team. Yes, we've managed very well together up to now. Even turned some heads, it appears. Darth Ma has taken notice of my accomplishments. It would seem he has plans for my future. What those plans look like, I can't say. What's clear is I'll need to re-establish order in my life. That means doing away with any... intricate entanglements. Come on. That's overkill. Please don't make this any more difficult than it already is. You've been close to me like no other. Whatever may come to pass between us, don't ever forget that. It's good to see you getting some much-deserved praise. I wouldn't have received it if not for you. You've been close to me. Nothing lasts forever, does it? How true. You've been close. You should report to Darth Maul. I... Yes, I'll do that. If this is our last moment, let's make it one to remember. Next time you gotta fight that juicy, you know how to reach me. Good luck, you two. Going somewhere? We're headed back to Rishi! Chikaro, I thought you hated that place. <laughs> Chikaro wishes to whip those sorry Raiders Cove pirates into shape. He sees a real opportunity there. What about you? See any of this opportunity? Oh, my word, no. But it should be fun to watch, if nothing else. You know you could be a valuable asset to the Empire, don't you? Besides which, we do have numerous Imperial markers out on us throughout the galaxy. Myself more than the lug, but there it is all the same. You'll have your work cut out for you. As invaluable as you've been helping us, I'm not too worried. Jakaro thanks you for your kind words. What? Oh, you know I hate it there. That's why we're going, isn't it? Just to torture me. Darth Ma, you wanted a word. We suffered many casualties upon the Emperor's return, though nothing insurmountable. Nothing compared to what we would have endured had the River Knights been successful. You are to be commended, of course. But it was Lana Benico's guile and intellect that made your participation at all possible. That is why I have placed Lana in charge of Sith intelligence. This isn't your decision alone, Ma. You'll have to wait for my opinion on the matter. I have discussed it with the rest of the Dark Council. No one else objected. 
I see. Give us a moment. Yes, my lord. The Empire... I can't think of a better choice. Thank you, my lord. That will be all for now. Now that she's away, what do you really think? Lana refuses to even take a title. This doesn't concern you? It says to me she's unambitious. I welcome the novelty. That said, I appreciate your candor. It's important that we speak openly. The Empire... Acting as advisor to Darth Arcus does not qualify her for head of intelligence. As I'm sure you've witnessed, she has a natural talent, and she's competent in handling all manner of assets. That said... Lana's deceitful. I've seen it myself. Without knowing her true motivation, she could be a threat. If she was purely forthright, I wouldn't have installed her. And let's not forget, she risked everything to save the Empire from the Revenites. I'm not concerned. That's... I can't think of a better choice. Thank you, my lord. That will be all for now. The Empire grows ever stronger. The mining of Isotope 5 has bolstered our energy independence and we're free from concern over the threat of Revan and his followers. That's only part of the story. Yes, our momentary truce is over. We remain at war with an emboldened Republic, and we still have countless enemies, both seen and unseen. Political deceit is to be expected, but we have had a full-blown traitor in our midst. Darth Arcus has fostered a new level of mistrust among us. You sought to destroy the Revenites. Of all the Dark Council, the only one I can genuinely trust is you, Darth Nox. You and I are all that stand between one another and the throne. And look at what the throne has done for the Emperor. This way is better. The Empire is... That is kind of you to say, Darth Maul. It is not idle flattery. It is a fact. One that should give you pause. The Empire... I am the only one you need to trust. The rest can be kept in check. Agreed. The Empire is whole once more. It grows and strengthens. Our obstacles are severe, but they are known to us. The galaxy is ours to grasp. Let us reach!